Hey friends, I am so happy that you are here today to spend some time with me in the kitchen. It is that time of year again and I am so excited about it. I know all of y'all are too. So today I've got three easy, and delicious crock pot recipes to share with you. As always, these recipes will either be linked or typed out down below in my description box for you. But for this first one, we are making slow cooker crack chicken potato soup. It is gonna be over the top amazing, so let's get into it. Okay, so to get started on our crack chicken potato soup, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. And my chicken breasts are a little bit smaller, which is fine because it's just me and Bunky. But I think I might kind of lessen everything just a little bit since we don't have as much chicken. And then to that chicken, I'm gonna add about half to three fourths of a bag of shredded hash browns. About one cup of milk. Four to five cups of chicken broth. One cap full of ranch seasoning, and if you just have the packet, then you can just do one full packet. Dangerous doing this over top of the crock pot, but I don't mind there's a little extra ranch seasoning in there. And the recipe calls for half a teaspoon of onion powder. I'm not gonna do that, obviously, so I'm gonna do garlic powder and probably do a little bit more than half a teaspoon. That was an excellent lunch. Oh, good. Okay, this is where the goodness comes in. Now you're gonna add in lots and lots of Velveeta cheese. This is gonna make it so creamy and cheesy and delicious. And rich. Woo! Oh, it's gonna get rich because now we're adding cream cheese. Okay, recipe says for a full block of cream cheese, y'all know how we do. We only usually use about half a block, so that's what I'm gonna do this time too. And then not done with the cheese yet, we're gonna add in a big handful of shredded cheddar cheese and some cracked black pepper. Now the only thing that this recipe also calls for that I did not add in there yet is the bacon. I wanna like wait a couple hours before I put it in there, that way it doesn't get too soggy. But this is just gonna cook, you can do it on low for like eight hours. I'm gonna do it on high for probably around six and then we'll shred that chicken up, stir everything together. It is gonna be the coziest, yummiest soup and I am looking so forward to dinner tonight. Okay, I don't think there is a prettier sight than like a whole sheet pan full of bacon. I just put it in at like 375 for, I guess about, I guess it's been like 15, 20 minutes and it comes out so perfect every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some of this and go ahead and put it in our crock pot and then we'll use some of it to like garnish and put on top so that it's not soggy. But this only has about 30 minutes to an hour left. I'm actually gonna go ahead and shred the chicken it is looking so good in here and y'all our whole house smells good y'all know i love like a loaded potato soup and i feel like this is like that but next level even better added chicken there's hash browns in there like oh my gosh so good okay so we're gonna shred this chicken and then this will be done very shortly Y'all, I know we told you that baking your bacon is the way to go, but oh my gosh. It is the best way to go in the whole world. Making bacon is the best way of making bacon. <laughs> yes, it is, okay? It's like, such a nice even cook. It's an even cook. It melts in your mouth. It is the most perfect consistency. <laughs> Casey May is like really upset. She's asking for a piece of bacon. Yeah. I just want some bacon, guys. Don't. You're so sweet. Those little eyes, I just cannot stand it. So precious. Look at the creaminess, the cheesiness. Oh my goodness gracious. I know I tell you all this all the time, but you know, I've just started loving soups like, what, Bunky? A year or two years ago, and the only soup I would ever eat is like loaded potato soup. Now I've like expanded my horizons, you know? <laughs> but I'm telling you, a good soup night is just like good for the soul. And it's like very overcast today, and I feel like just such a good day for a soup. The I, the atmosphere for soup today was on point. It was on point. He does not even know what is in this soup, so you're able to give us like your honest opinion, I, but it's all the good stuff. I have minimal information. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I need a uh, spoon that's not slotted. You know what we really need to get? What, a ladle? We truly need a soup ladle. I know. 
This is like the we're, best thing I got over here. We're always struggling with our little Betty Crocker. <laughs> This is a beautiful bowl of soup, if I do say so myself. Okay, I want a little I bit have, of everything. I have a little bit of everything in this here bite. Okay. You've done it again, Bonk. My favorite part is the hash browns and the cheese and bacon on top. I mean, how can that not be your favorite part? But it is just so, the, like the texture is perfect. It's a great texture. It's very creamy and hearty. Sur surprisingly, I'm actually Liken the shredded potatoes in there. Mm-hmm. Which... Mm. <laughs> this is may, so good. It may come as a shock to a lot of you. You could put a dash of hot sauce on here. Oh, hot sauce might be really good, actually, yeah. It's okay. just so warm and cozy and hearty. Like, this is going to be an incredible soup, like, dead of winter. Oh, yeah. This will warm you up. Mm -hmm. You know what I think would be a good side? A, a nice little addition to this whole... What? I think cornbread would go really well mm -hmm. with this. Because mm -hmm. it would be like a nice little sweetness. Agreed. To like. That actually would be so good. Okay, so for tonight's crock pot recipe, we are making a slow cooker spaghetti casserole. It looks so good. I am pumped for dinner tonight. And to get started, we're just gonna go ahead and cook our ground beef. If you wanted to do um, ground turkey, you could. If you wanna do like ground beef and Italian sausage to even give it more flavor, you could do like a mixture of those two. I'm just gonna do ground beef because that's what I have on hand. But let's get to cooking that and then we'll add in the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so now that this is cooked all the way through, I'm gonna go ahead and drain off this grease. Okay, so to my ground beef, I'm gonna add in one jar of spaghetti sauce. I maybe should have gotten a bigger pan, story of my life. And then one can of diced tomatoes, and you do not wanna drain these. You wanna put liquid and all in there. I think I may be at max capacity and I still have more things to add, so this is gonna get interesting. Okay, half a cup of water. And a good amount of Italian seasoning. Now somehow I'm going to fold this all in together and give it a good stir without making a mess, so wish me luck. I was actually just thinking about this and I was like, I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic too. The recipe doesn't call for it, but would it be a bunky recipe if we didn't add some garlic? Okay, so I went ahead and lightly greased my crock pot and I'm going to ever so gently spoon in half of our mixture. Okay, now to this, I'm just taking some spaghetti noodles and kind of breaking them in half and just layering them right on top. And you don't have to cook them, you can put them in there just as is. Okay, now pour the rice of that mixture right on top. Kind of smooth it out. Top it with as much Parmesan as you want. And all the cheddar cheese. And y'all know we want a lot of cheese in here. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. You're gonna pop a lid. It's gonna cook on high for four hours. That is it, and then dinner will be ready. So this one is like really quick and easy, and I was thinking you could even prep that little sauce and meat mixture like on a Sunday afternoon or even the night before and then pop it in the fridge. That way the next morning whenever you're ready to put this on, you have everything ready to go. And y'all, I'm already looking forward to lunch tomorrow because I know the leftovers of this is gonna be so good because you know spaghetti pie leftovers are the best and this is like so similar but like in the crock pot you know what i should have added ricotta to this if i had some i would totally add that in so if you have it that would like even make this so much better just add it to like your meat and sauce mixture y'all so good okay this cheese is all melted the pasta noodles are cooked i did get bumpy to taste test the pasta noodles to make sure they were cooked and they are. This looks so good. Oh, this is gonna be scrumptious. 
That looks like what you're going to get at a restaurant right it there. It really does. What if this like beat your spaghetti pie? Don't even. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Nothing ever could. That's probably so hot, B. You know what it kind of gets? What? Like with the, the meat sauce and, or the, the meat and the cheese and the sauce stuff. Uh-huh. It almost has like a nice like lasagna texture oh, like, or flavor. Yeah. And then the I, noodles. I was le leery or weary. I was weary or leery of the noodles. Well, he was scared they, they were going to be like gummy or something. They, I think they absorbed so much of that flavor from the sauce, you know? Yeah. This is really good. Okay. This is really good. I think that like cheddar cheese probably gives it like a different flavor element than just like regular spaghetti, you know? Oh yeah. Okay, let me tell you my thoughts on this. I really like it. It's funny because the noodle texture is like slightly different from what you would think of in like regular spaghetti. I guess because it's more almost like baked and I like the texture better. And then definitely the cheddar cheese just gives it a lot of flavor. And like I told y'all, next time I'm making this and I'm adding the ricotta in because I think that would be like, yeah, Bunky just looked at me like, oh my gosh, yes. You're really trying to take this to my spaghetti pie. <laughs> Nothing will ever surpass the spaghetti pie, Bunky. Um, but this is very good, and this would also be a great thing to like take over, like a covered dish thing. Yeah, feed a family. It's really good. It's interesting because it's it's like a whole different animal. Like it is. You, you don't when you think of like spaghetti, it's like it's like spaghetti, but it's it's, it's different. so different. It's good, in a good way though. Yes, y'all. I just about said something so corny. I was about to say that I'm over here cheesing because we're about to be having some crock pot macaroni and cheese tonight. But I was like, that's so corny, but I totally meant it. I literally am like grinning ear to ear because I'm just so excited for dinner. I know I've shared this recipe at least once, if not twice on my channel, but not in a very long time. And if you have never seen this or never made it, trust me, you've got to. This is Bunky's mom's crock pot mac and cheese recipe. And I request this at every family get together. I'm like, please make the mac and cheese. It is so good. You are going to love it. I think Bunky's going to grill us some barbecue chicken tonight. And I cannot have barbecue chicken without macaroni and cheese. Like the two just go together so good. So instead of a crock pot dinner, we're making a crock pot side dish tonight. I've got the macaroni going behind me. Um, that is almost finished and then we'll just get everything in the crock pot and get it going. Okay, so two hour noodles, we're gonna add in one can of evaporated milk. And then three eggs that went ahead and whisked together. One full stick of butter. Just based off these first three ingredients, you can already tell this is gonna be so good. And then her recipe says to use two big cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I like to do like half Velveeta and half shredded cheese just because I love the way Velveeta makes things really creamy and smooth. So I'm adding my Velveeta chunks in and then a big handful of cheese. And I happen to have Colby Jack, so that's what I'm gonna use. I think Colby Jack melts so nicely anyway. So we'll add that in, give this a stir. Oh, we gotta add salt and pepper. Okay, if you've ever seen me make mac and cheese before, you know that I'm a little bit weird. And I love to add a sprinkle of sugar. And since it's sitting right here, I'm gonna add it into this one too. Just a little sprinkle. I'm telling you, it's just something about it. Kind of just marries everything together. Maybe just a little pinch more. Okay, I'm gonna kind of just give this a little toss. I'm kind of just breaking up this butter into like smaller chunks just so it melts a little easier. Okay, pop a lid on and then this is gonna cook on high for about three to four hours. Okay, so it's been about two hours and I was just checking on this and I feel like it's getting a little bit thick. I'm gonna add just a touch of milk in here to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Woo, well, that was a little bit more than I thought. <laughs> it's looking so good. You know what I forgot to do though, and I'm so mad at myself. I forgot to spray my crock pot, so now this thing is gonna be a beast to clean. That looks delicious. Okay, I'm gonna pop a lid back on, give this about another hour. 
Pasabi balone. Chicken and bacon balone. <laughs> Chilling with my bunkie. Woo, buddy. I am ready to dig in. Well, he just said it doesn't look very cheesy, and I'm like, no, trust me, it is. It's the Velveeta and the Colby Jack versus the Shredded Cheddar, which is why it doesn't look as, like, yellow, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, man, oh, man, do y'all see this goodness? <sighs> My mouth's watering. I like the edges, boy. We'll get you some edges. Now, the true test is for you to tell me if this is as good as your mom's. <laughs> Bunky already told me it doesn't look as good as hers. For some reason, nobody can replicate hers. I don't know what she... I think she doesn't tell us one of the things. I was about to say, Bunky, your hair looks crazy. <laughs> I was about to say, I think that she doesn't give us one of the ingredients. Because yeah. hers always looks so... So good. Mm -hmm. She's holding. She's holding, she's holding back. On mm -hmm. I, mean, I hope. I hope y'all can just see. This is what I love. I love like a baked mac and cheese, crock pot mac and cheese that has like that egg in there. Something about it. Yeah, I like this kind of macaroni and cheese because it doesn't. Um, like, not that I dis. I mean, you know, most macaroni and cheese is delicious. Yeah. But like the macaroni and cheese, it's like the like smooth, creamy, like all encompassing, all up in it. Like the noodles are completely just covered in cheese. <laughs> yes, that was a great description. That's not my favorite kind of macaroni and cheese. Like this is like macaroni with cheese. Right. This yes. is macaroni with cheese. Yes. Mom. Yes, I like it. You're giving her a run for our money this time. Okay, good. I'd like to just top this with some. Uh, Bacon. I was just thinking that. There you are. I swear, I was just thinking that. Mmm. Some crumble bacon right on top. It's just a, just a whole meal. Whole meal. You don't even need anything to go with it. Can you tell I put my sprinkle of sugar in there or no? Mm -mm. No. You really can't tell. I'm telling you, the sprinkle of sugar is just like a little something something. It's the mind trick. Yeah. It balances all the savory, you know? Mm hmm. Okay, so delicious. Try this recipe. You and your family are going to love it. I'm still perfecting it. Mm. Your mom's not telling me a secret ingredient. <laughs> well, I say each time you do it, you get closer and closer to the real thing. Oh, thank you, Bunky. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with us. If you try these recipes, which you should, because all three of them were so good, let me know what you think. Tag me in your pictures. The day you're seeing this, Bunky and I are headed to Pigeon Forge. We'll be there for the whole week. We're gonna film it, so you're gonna have an awesome camper video coming up very shortly. And you should have one video in between that one as well. But I love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.